much. We continue our wedding theme this morning on WDRB in the morning. We have May Pike from Home Cuisine in the studio with us. We are cooking up a treat this morning that will impress your guest. It is cost effective. And it's also pretty good on the waistline, from what I understand. It is. You it can't is all beat of that. These, things. these are toast points. Correct. This is pumpernickel toast point. Mm -hmm. All that that is is a fancy name for a little piece of pumpernickel toast. Um, it's a really great base for appetizers like this yeah. um, because it's it's really sturdy, and it's also pretty healthy. So all you do is take pumpernickel bread, yeah. cut it in the size you want it, toast it until it's extra extra crispy, and pull it out of the oven. Okay, and, and then it. it's a dill cream cheese. Correct. A little salmon, a little caviar on there. That's all it is. Um, I'm showing you today how to make the dilled cream cheese that is the base of this um, appetizer. But we started with low-fat uh, cream cheese, mm -hmm. about 16 ounces. Is that a little, a little dill? That's a little dill. I like a lot of dill, yeah. so that's a lot of dill. But Gives it some punch. That's right. And it, it really, it also completely gets rid of that kind of strange flavor that the fat-free cream cheese can have. So you put the... Um, a little lemon juice? A little bit of lemon juice that we squeezed this morning. It's Which absolutely also is delicious. very healthy. It's very healthy. And it also, a thing that's great about that is it, it, lemon is a natural with these flavors. I mean, it absolutely, it works beautifully together. It blends but it the, all together. Exactly. The lemon juice kind of loosens it up a little bit, mm -hmm. softens it up. A little bit of salt and pepper. Is that sea salt? A special that kind of salt? That is sea salt. Uh -huh. See, I'm getting better uh, at this, man. You're like a chef now, Sterling. I don't know about that. <laughs> We're about to find out here in just a minute. And that is it. That's all you have to do to make the uh, low-fat cream cheese, which is the base. And then, would you like the honors? Please. In a circular motion, In right? a circular motion. How much? Just as much as you want. That's perfect. You really are Help getting me out good, here. Sterling. I've been practicing, man. <laughs> so you want to take your toast point and do exactly what Sterling just did. Man, I'm getting a tricep workout here. <laughs> Stuff's not easy. It's not easy. Help me it? out. You put a little salmon on put there? Put a little smoked salmon do on there. Do we need a caper on there? I like a caper on there. I put a little fresh dill on mm -hmm. just to give it some, some color. And It's not necessarily for taste, just color? I, I think for both, really, because dill is pretty powerful stuff. Um, and then what we've ended up with are these uh, smoked salmon toast points. Mm -hmm. They are um, 17 cents each, and I'm sure that after Lindsay has priced out um, appetizers from caterers, she'll realize that that's a really good price for something, something like this. You get a whole lot of flavor for it, just a little bit of money. Um, and I top it with a little bit of caviar if you'd like. This, a lot of people become, think that that's super expensive and it gives it a really, really luxurious feel if you go with caviar. I bought this jar of caviar at the grocery store for $5.99. Not bad, Not and bad. it looks great. Why, thank you. And they're also, because we've used the low-fat cream cheese, which you certainly don't have to use, um, these are coming in at about 45 calories each. All right. So it's, you know, after a, when you consider a, what, what a fried uh, crab cake with a little bit of remoulade will cost you, this is a great deal. We're doing pretty good. All right, cooking with May Pike this morning. We're making uh, treats for a wedding. There you go. There's the information on your screen. Home Cuisine, they provide nutritious meals. For more information, you can dial that number on your screen or go to our website, wdrb.com. May, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.